So one of the factors that will affect drug absorption is the pH partition hypothesis. So what are the main concepts of the pH partition hypothesis? So one no, of the main concepts of this uh, hypothesis no, is that uh, most drugs are weak organic acids or bases and exist in the solution as both ionized and an ionized form. So most of the drugs that we are using you know, in veterinary medicine as well as in the medical field are considered to be weak organic acids or weak bases. And when they are going to be uh, subjected into a solution you know, such as water, they can either be uh, converted into their ionized form or they're in an ionized form. So how do we define this in an ionized form? So when we say in an ionized form, this is usually the more lipid soluble uh, form of the drug and can readily cross the cell membrane. So when we say uh, the other term for it in an ionized form is the uh, uncharged form, meaning that it does not contain a charge, no, the, the positive or the negative charge. And it is also called as the unprotonated form. So when we say proton, that refers to our H+. So for the ionized form of the drug, this is usually a less lipid soluble and is often excluded from the transmembrane diffusion. So the other term for the ionized form of the drug is also known, it is also known as the charged form or it is also known as the protonated form. So according to this hypothesis, for the non-ionized form of the drug, you know, it is, it is the, the portion of the drug that is more lipid soluble, meaning that it can readily pass through the cell membrane, while for the uh, ionized form of the drug, it is the proportion of the drug that is less lipid soluble so that it will be excluded from the transmembrane diffusion. So when we say excluded from the transmembrane diffusion, that particular portion of the drug will be uh, will accumulate you know, or will trap to that particular uh, cellular or tissue compartment. So there are two forms, again, of uh, drugs now, according to the pH partition hypothesis. We have the ionized and the non-ionized form. So when we are going to compare the two, so for the ionized form of the drug, so in terms of its lipid solubility, so it is less lipid soluble, while for the non-ionized form of the drug, it is highly lipid soluble. So because it is highly lipid soluble, so it can readily cross the uh, plasma membrane or the cellular membrane. For the ionized form of the drug, it is also less lipophilic. So the lipophilic uh, term is the other term for uh, lipid soluble. So when we say uh, less uh, lipophilic, no? so that is a fat-loving portion of the drug. No? That is uh, a descriptive term that will uh, that will describe the uh, lipophilicity of a particular drug. So for the non-ionized form, it is more lipophilic. So when we say more lipophilic, no, it is uh, more fat-loving. For its uh, hydrophilicity or it, its affinity with water, so the ionized form is uh, hydrophilic, meaning that it is water-loving. And for the non-ionized form of the drug, it is hydrophobic, meaning it is water-fearing. For the degree of ionization and in its influence to the solubility, so again, when we say ionized form, that is water-soluble, an ionized form is the water insoluble portion of the uh, drug. For its lipid uh, membrane solubility, so for the ionized form, it is uh, it is a less lipid soluble, no, it, so that uh, it will not readily cross the cell membrane. For the ionized form of the drug, it is uh, an ionized form of the drug is lipid soluble so that it can readily cross the cell membrane. So the degree of ionization of an organic compound will depend on uh, its pKa value and the pH of the environment on either side of the membrane. 
So there are two factors that will influence the degree of ionization of our weak acid or weak basic drug. So when we say ionization, this is the amount of drug in the ionized or the non-ionized form. So when we say a drug has a higher uh, non-ionized form, so we can say that that particular drug is uh, lipid soluble you know, so that it can readily cross the lipid bilayer. When we say uh, there is a higher concentration of the ionized form of the drug, so that particular drug is uh, not lipid soluble so that it cannot readily cross the cell membrane. So there are two factors that will tell you the uh, degree of ionization of, the, of a particular drug. You know, and these are the pKa value and the pH of the environment. So for the pKa value, this refers to the uh, characteristic property of the drug, while the pH of the environment is, of course, uh, an external factor that will influence the absorption or the ionization of our, of our drug. So these are uh, one of the factors you know, that will influence the degree of ionization is the pH. So when we say pH, that is the measurement of the number of the available hydrogen ions in a solution. So we basically uh, describe the pH as either acidic and basic or alkaline. So the acidic and the basic uh, pH of the environment will describe the characteristics of a fluid as measured by its pH. So we can say that for an acidic environment, an acidic environment has many free hydrogen ions or H plus ions available in the liquid. So the, that uh, pH ranges from one to six. For the basic environment, uh, when we say basic environment, you no, know, according to the concentration of our hydrogen ions, so there are only very few available H plus ions in the solution. So for pH that uh, is greater than seven you know, to fourteen in the, in the on our pH scale, so that would refer to our basic environment. So a drug can exist as a ratio of ionized molecule to an ionized molecule when it will be subjected in, uh, in the environment. So we have here an example of the degree of ionization of our weak acid drug. So aspirin is an example of a weak acid drug. Now it is an steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is used for as an antipyretic no, um, and uh, anti-inflammatory. So we basically have here you know, have our pH, the pH of the environment. And on the right side, we have here the degree of ionization of our aspirin. So as we are going to increase the pH of the environment, we can see that there is also an increase in the proportion of the ionized form of aspirin. As we are going to decrease the pH of the environment, we can see here that there is also a, uh, an increase in the proportion of our ionized form of the drug. So that is the influence of pH of the environment to the degree of ionization of our weak acid drug.